Welcome to a demonstration of HQ Suggest. My name is Abbas Ravji and in the next few moments I'll be showing you exactly how to take advantage of this brand new software that we've developed after being inspired by the Google Hummingbird update. HQ Suggest leverages the power of nine major search engines pulling back suggestions that get searched for by real users. The software gets suggested data using three different methods of search. One of the methods is your typical keyword suggestion scraper. This feature has some advanced search options that we'll be going over shortly. But the second and third search methods is where the real treasure lies. The second method of search is based on questions. This is one of the methods that our team got to work on after the Hummingbird update. With Google now pushing to understand more complex question type of queries, we knew this data was badly needed. This method of search comes with a library of over 150 pre-configured questions and multiple advanced search functions. Again, we'll be going over these and taking a closer look shortly. The third method of search is based on how-to topics. This is another method that my team worked on after the Hummingbird update. This comes with a library of over 100 how-to search queries that will allow you to find a multitude of how-to topics in your niche or allow you to explore further niches. This feature also has advanced search options that we'll be taking a closer look at shortly. The software also comes with its own search functions. The search function allows you to build your own library of keywords that can later be searched for and sorted. There's also a spin syntax tab that's available to our developer license holders that will allow you to create spin syntax from a bunch of keywords that can later be used as anchor text in your favorite link building tools. The software also runs whilst minimized, it's lightweight, multi-threaded, and it also supports proxies. So let's take a closer look at each feature along with examples of how they can be used. Let's start off with the Keyword Suggestions tab. The Keyword Suggestion tab allows you to search for regular keywords or physical products allowing you to perform model number searches. There's a total of six advanced search features that can be performed. So let's take a closer look at them inside of Google. The first type is the most basic type where we add the keyword and get suggestions like this. The more advanced suggestion features work something like this. We add our keyword and then after the keyword we add letters of the alphabet to prompt further suggestions. We also add the letters of the alphabet before the keyword like this. And our developer license holders also get to benefit from an even more advanced search function, which goes something like this. As you can see, we add two letters of the alphabet. We go through A, 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 B, A, C, A, D, all the way to A, Z. And then we start off with B, A, B, C, all the way until we read Z, Z. We also do it before the keyword as well. Now let's see the software do this for us. We select the search engines we want to use add our keywords inside of the text box or we can import them, select our search type and method and click start. We can now minimize the software like this and continue with our things. It's just as simple to show the software by right clicking and clicking show. As you can see the software is working away and has already started to scrape keywords. Once the process is complete we can see the saved keywords inside of the saved text file. I performed a keyword plus A to Z search using only three search engines. You can get many more keywords when using more search engines and different search methods. The Keyword Suggestion tab is extremely useful to find plenty of keywords in your niche. Let's move on to the Question Suggestion tab and take a closer look at that. The Question Suggestion tab is by far my favorite method of search. By using the Question Suggestion tab, it's possible to scrape for questions that have been searched for by users. These questions provide us with valuable information and can be used in many ways. Let's run a few question searches to get a better understanding of what data can be obtained and how it can be used. I'll firstly enter my keyword. Now I'll select a number of questions that will be used with my keywords to get our suggestions. I can select them all, or I've already got some selected over here. 
Our developer license holders can also import their own questions and add to the library. This is a very useful feature to get suggestions for even further questions and also allows your copy of the software to grow in capability. I can choose to scrape questions only and to scrape questions that only have my keyword in it. Enabling these features pulls back suggestions that are much more precise. We can also perform our searches using the A to Z method of search and our developer license holders can perform the AAZZ method of search. For now, we will use the basic method of search. Once the process is complete, then it will save the suggestions to a file. Let's take a look. These were scraped only using a handful of questions. Now let me show you how this changes by using one of the advanced methods. We'll use the same questions and the same keyword and I'll put this on pause while we use one of the more advanced methods of search to see exactly what difference it makes. Okay, so it's complete. As you can see the results are much more and if you're a developer license holder and use the AA to ZZ search feature then you can be sure to get suggestions that you wouldn't be able to get otherwise. Let's take a look at some of the data. So as you can see we've got a bunch of questions related to our niche. Questions such as what weight loss pills are FDA approved? What weight loss pills work? What are natural weight loss foods? What are good weight loss foods? What is weight loss a sign of? What are good weight loss vitamins? What weight loss surgery is best? What weight loss program is best? When can weight loss be a sign of diabetes? As you can see, these questions are gold. Not only do they tell us what type of questions are being searched for by our users, but it also gives us valuable insights to our niche. This data has many uses. You can use the questions to create topics on, use them as anchor text for when creating backlinks, or even use them for, generate for general research. The choice is yours and the scope is endless. And if you felt like exploring niches, then you can select a bunch of questions without, any, without adding any keyword and perform a search. You'll get questions in all sorts of niches. A great and fun way to start your new niche research. Let's move on to the How To tab. The suggestions from this tab will allow you to find how-to topics that users are typing into the search engines. This information can be used to create how-to topics, how-to videos, or for further niche research. Our developer license holders can import their own how-tos into the memory of the software and work with the advanced AAZZ search method. For now, we will use the A to Z feature with a bunch of questions and our seed keyword. We can choose to scrape only how-to and suggestions that hold our keyword. Let's click start and see what we get. For every how-to, the software is going to be performing 26 searches. This is because it runs through the English alphabet, which has 26 letters. And when performing the AAZZ method of search, which is available to our developer license holders, then the system will perform 676 searches for each how-to or each how-question which obviously will provide masses of more data. Okay, so the process is complete. Now let's take a look at some of the scraped data. As you can see, we have hundreds of new how-to topics in our niche. Let's take a look at a few of these. How to check weight loss after pregnancy. Plenty of how to checks. Let's take a look at something different. How to combat weight loss. How to combat weight loss after a baby how to combat weight loss and diabetes we've got how to control how to control appetite for weight loss how to control emotional eating for faster weight loss so as you can see this data is gold we can now go and create videos articles helper topics for our main products or whatever we so wish and if you wanted to use the how to suggestion feature to search different and various niches then you can perform your search without adding a keyword now let's perform a search without adding a keyword and i'll be back shortly to show you what kind of results we get okay so we now got a variety of how to subjects and how to topics in a variety of niches we got things like how to check pregnancy how to check proxy settings how to check phone number, how to check Apple warranty, 
how to check Amazon gift card balance, how to check credit score, how to check usage on iPhone. And then moving on to the how to combat, we got how to combat a cold, how to combat a hangover, how to combat acid reflux, how to combat acne, how to combat anxiety. And then we've got how to check as well. We've got things like how to check laptop battery, how to check license status, how to check lottery numbers, how to check RAM on Windows 7. And then we've got how to control, how to control dandruff, how to control depression, how to control diabetes, how to control diarrhea, how to, how to control drinking, how to control drinking without quitting. So as you can see, we've got some great suggestions down here and it's actually it's actually been fun going through the various niches that we can now look to target so I'm sure you can see the value that this data holds so I've just demonstrated how we can open up a niche wide open and get some great suggested questions how to topics and keywords from nine major search engines HQ suggest makes it easy to get tons of data that without a built-in search feature the software was just not going to be complete. If you've let HQ suggest loose, scraping thousands of questions and how to topics, then the search features allow you to search through files for given keywords and save them to niche relevant files. So here's a quick example. From this file of random how to topics that we just scraped, I'm gonna save everything that has the how to check into a different file using this. So as you can see, in this file, we now, have every, we now have everything that has how to check in there. This becomes very easy to use, especially when you're looking for certain keywords, such as weight loss or anything else. And finally, there's one more feature that's available to our developer license holders that allows them to import a bunch of scraped queries and make spin syntax out of them, like this. And this can be used for things such as your backlink anchor text. So here's the spin syntax. So thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this short video demonstration of HQ Suggest. My name is Abbas Ravji.